we no longer have, I can't, if, if, some, if I hear somebody has a disagreement with me, I don't mind giving them a call and having a conversation with them. But you know what they're more interested in? No, no, no. I want to have a conversation with you, but I want to make sure it's on YouTube because then I want to see what the comments are like and I want an entire public circus. That's not a conversation. That's a show. Oh, this one versus that one. Oh, I'm going to watch this. Oh, that was so good. He got him so bad. Like, what is this? Over the years, uh, alhamdulillah, you've been an inspiration to uh, many, many people. But you know that there's a refit on the YouTube. When you go to YouTube, certain brother will say, don't listen to this, this, that. Another yeah. brother will come say, don't listen to this, that, yeah. or this institution. Yeah, yeah. What is the solution going forward? Okay. As an ummah, we're supposed to be, you know, bring everyone together. Right. Not divide the ummah. Uh, what's your name? Gulzar. So Gulzar asked a really nice question about, you know, I... I watch some of your videos, but there's so many videos of, uh, you said it more more kindly, but people that tell you don't listen to this one, don't listen to that one. There's so many videos out there, refutation material, and what's the solution to all of that? Um, I'll tell you what I personally believe. Um, what I personally believe is we should be, Muslims should be intelligent enough to accept the truth and reject reject what is wrong but inst instead of accepting people and rejecting people we should be interested in accepting ideas and rejecting ideas and we should let go of this idea of accepting people and rejecting people i could talk to a christian who believes that isa is the son of allah ma'adullah i don't agree but he could say something that's correct and i agree with the thing that he says that's correct i could talk to an atheist who doesn't even believe in allah and he might say something that's true, and I will agree with the part that he says that's true. Anyone has a right to, for, for me or for anyone else, to say, hey, Norman said this incorrectly here, and here's why I think this idea is incorrect, right? Ideas can be debated, and they should be debated, and the only way knowledge moves forward is when you debate ideas. But I don't, I don't personally believe in the idea of you know, uh, uh, rejecting people. And we do a lot of that in the Muslim community. Oh, this person is wrong. This person is misguided. This person is dangerous. What's so dangerous? I don't understand. Look, how do we accept Islam to begin with? When you, when you talk to your non-Muslim friend, you say, look, look, think openly, right? Be a critical thinker. Look at the evidence. So you have to be open-minded to accept Islam. Once you accept Islam, now, now become closed-minded. Does that make any sense? It makes, no, it makes no sense. This deen is a deen of aql. It's a deen of thought. It's a deen of investigation and evidence, right? So, and, and there are people that I disagree with so badly. Like I'm completely opposite from them in some ideas. But I love and respect them at the same time so much. They can, I'll go to their house. They'll come to my house. And we will disagree strongly. But that doesn't change anything about how I feel about them as a human being. Because our deen is not just about ideas, it's also about adab. Right? How you treat another person. Like Allah says, even he told Banu Israel, Qulu lin nasi husna, speak to people beautifully. There's, and, and by the way, there's another Islamic principle. If I have a problem with you, who should I talk to? You should talk to me. I should talk to you. And once I talk to you, should I go and tell 50 other people that I talked to him and this happened? And that? No, no, no. Al-Majalis bil Amana, two brothers spoke to each other. It's done. It's not, if I wanted to talk to everybody, I would talk to everybody. But if I'm talking to you, that's because I'm talking to you. You know, imagine if you're having a personal conversation with one of your friends and they're recording it without telling you. And then they record it without telling you and then they put it on the internet. And then they send it to all of your family, everybody. Look at what she said. And you say, wait, the conversation was a trust between you and me. We had a private conversation, but you're interested in what? Broadcasting it, right? So what's happened in a lot of the Islamic discourse, in my opinion, is we no longer have, I can't, if, if, some, if I hear somebody has a disagreement with me, I don't mind giving them a call and having a conversation with them. 
But you know what they're more interested in? No, no, no. I want to have a conversation with you, but I want to make sure it's on YouTube because then I want to see what the comments are like and I want an entire public circus. That's not a conversation. That's a show. There's a difference between a conversation and a show, right? So that's what we've kind of turned uh, our religious, our, 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 our discussions into. Alhamdulillah, I have a lot of people in my life that I discuss with, that I debate with, that I disagree with. And it never comes online, never comes on some rec- Why not? Because that's an aman, it's a trust. That's a trust. And also what's happened online is, you know, like some guys are into UFC and some kind of football matches. And now Islamic speakers against each other is new kind of entertainment. Oh, this one versus that one. Oh, I'm going to watch this. Oh, that was so good. He got him so bad. Like, what is this? Where's, where's Inna wal Mu'minuna Ikhwa? Where is, you know, uh, Allah says, believers are nothing but brothers. Rasul Sallallahu says, لا تتدبروا عورات المسلمين Don't pursue the, the private matters of your brother, you know, of your, of your fellow, um, fellow Muslim brother. Allah says in the Quran, أَذِلَّةٍ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ They are humble to other believers. Right? Where, where did that go? Where, I don't see that. I see this is the opposite of what Allah teaches, what the Messenger teaches, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it's not just... I just find something un-Islamic about that entire approach. I, I'm, I'm uncomfortable with it. Because I, I wouldn't wish that for my brother. Right? If somebody, uh, uh, the, the person who's criticizing someone else, I don't like that the person's being criticized and I would hate that that same person would be criticized. Because they also have dignity, they have a family, they have, you know, why should they be talked about in this way? So I think this lack of adab and lack of control of the tongue and like open riba in the name of, oh no, this is amr bil ma'roof and nahi al munkar. I think that's nonsense. There's nothing ma'roof about it. There's nothing, there's nothing decent about that, you know? So anyway, that's, that's my take on what you're saying. And by the way, the only reason that stuff happens is because you watch it. That's the only reason. If they didn't get views, they'd stop doing it. And even the people who don't like it, watch it. Oh, stop it. Look at what they're saying. I'm going to watch it again. <laughs> and they get views. When they get views, they get encouraged. Then they say, I should do something even more scandalous, something more offensive, because it will get even more views. And then you watch it again. So who's actually supporting their cause? You are. You're the one doing it. Not them. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video clip. My team and I have been working tirelessly to try to create as many resources for Muslims to give them first steps in understanding the Quran all the way to the point where they can have a deep, profound understanding of the Quran. We are students of the Quran ourselves and we want you to be students of the Quran alongside us. Join us for this journey on BayinaTV.com where thousands of hours of work have already been put in and don't be intimidated. It's step by step by step so you can make learning the Quran a part of your lifestyle. There's lots of stuff available on YouTube but it's all over the place. If you want an organized approach to studying the Quran beginning to end for yourself, your kids, your family and even among peers, that would be the way to go. Sign up for BayinaTV.com.